Household registration always. So, we now know what time Luo Cha left the open area. Nice! You found footage of him leaving? Yes. According to the Psycrane recordings, he left the area two hours after he entered. Uh, strange. Why spend two hours in such a confined area? He must have been up to something. I'm gonna stop you right there. Refined wardrobe, elegant bearing. He may be a villain, but he doesn't look like someone who'd give up on finding a bathroom, even in an emergency. Uh, it's a shame no Psy cranes are installed in that area. We still have no idea what he was up to. This Lucha is getting more suspicious by the minute. Psst. I know Mr. Yang never wears his heart on his sleeve, but do you get the feeling he's a little... restless? Don't worry about me. It's just... My mind keeps wandering back to those other Law Chas I mentioned. Not the greatest memories. Uh, how does he always hear us? Well, I'm afraid I have some other business to attend to. Let me know if you need anything. You know how to reach me. Uh, thanks for the help, Miss Chingyan. So... What did Law Cha get up to during those missing two hours? I think it's high time Detective March took the gloves off! Oh? And what do you have in mind, Detective? Fieldwork? That won't be necessary, Mr. Yang. As the angler once said, a true detective operates as effectively from their armchair as from the scene of the crime! It's too early to start field work. We must wait until my deduction is complete. Then when we arrive at the scene, you'll see that the facts match my theory to a T. <laughs> well, seeing as you're so confident, let's give your idea a try. <sighs> Yay! Mr. Yang is the best! This takes forever. Ready? I'm gonna start my reconstruction. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Explaining a theory in front of everyone is more nerve-wracking than I expected. I'll be using the angler's deductive method. Reconstruct what happened from the bad guy's perspective. And now I'm Locha. Uh, quit messing around. I'm thinking. Oh, almost forgot about that title page. He took it with him, so it must have had some significance. Uh, next up. I need to have a look at that map, Mr. Yang. Hmm... He must have gone through that gate up ahead. No way he would have stayed put in such a small area for two hours. But Miss Jingyan mentioned that gate is a military asset. It's locked all year round. Uh, you think that would stop the likes of Luocha? What kind of Stellaron smuggler would he be if he couldn't get past a door? <laughs> You think a lock like this can stop a girl like me? Uh, fine. I'll be me. You guys will have to imagine his lines instead. Such a rudimentary lock. Easy pickings. Even if Lacha was able to unlock the door, what was his goal? His villain friends must have been waiting on the other side to buy the Stellaron! He went to meet them!
Now that I think about it, something's not right. Why would they rendezvous at a military airfield? Because, uh, well, we're too law-abiding to understand bad guy logic. Hiding in plain sight, perhaps. Hold on. This would have been too quick a route. And? What's wrong with a quick route? Hmm? Ahem. What's wrong with a quick route, Mr. Yang? We're trying to uncover what Law Cha did during those two hours. But even if he repeated this route 20 times, it wouldn't have taken him that long. Ah, <sighs> true. He must have had a tougher journey than I imagined. Oh, come on, let's start over. You look like a tasty morsel. Those who dare to enter here must face a delicious fate. Ha! Your eyes are bigger than your stomach, foul villain! How about you? Why is the monster talking now? Uh, you know, just a little dramatic effect! Receive divinity! <laughs> the dead return! Nothing major. Boom. The dead return! <laughs> Receive divinity. The dead return! Monster layers in black market spaces, I doubt the Law Fu has any of that. At least I doubt things of that nature existed before the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Uh, is it really so far-fetched? We're already assuming that Luo Cha came here to sell the Stellaron to a bunch of cutthroats. May as well throw in some monsters here and there. The Angler is both a detective and a fighter. Anyway, it's not like we're gonna be able to conjure up exactly what Luocha ran into. Why not use our own interpretation to bridge the gap? Hmm. I suppose that makes some kind of sense. I don't see any major plot holes. I didn't expect this place to be so treacherous. I'll need to be on my guard going forward. I wonder, just who is the buyer interested in the Stellaron? The buyer is waiting there. Time to head over. Plausible. <sighs> Finally! Mr. Yang of- Stop right there. State your business. Uh, no, that's Puar, the Tea Society's gatekeeper. Isn't Puar a type of tea? That's right! He's a member of the Tea Society, so naturally he chose a type of tea as his alias. Hey, I'm talking to you. What's your business here? Can you tell him to be less aggressive? Uh, oh, sure. Excuse me, sir. May I ask whether you're here on business or... Never mind. I have a delivery for your boss. I need to give it to him in person. If you could let him know I'm here. Delivery? Ah, yes, the delivery. The boss is waiting for you. I'm afraid I'll need to see some ID first. I wonder if Luocha has something prepared for this moment.
That's the code. So you're the one. Wait here a moment. I'll call the boss right away. Take your time. Poir takes the page and goes to find the boss. Before long, Luocha sees an imposing figure walking towards him. Boss, this is the one. He brought the delivery. I'll be the judge of that. I couldn't think of anyone else to be Mr. Yang's boss. This is our boss, Startaro Bubble. Let's see this delivery and make it snappy. So what? This is the Tea Society, remember? Not before I see the money. I'm sure you understand the rules of such a transaction. Save it. Show us the goods first. Easy now. The item in question is extremely dangerous. It's understandable that our friend here wants to take extra precautions. I'm not sure Pom Pom is the best casting choice for a gang boss. Uh, it it kind of works, right? Puar, give him the money. Happy now? Ready to hand it over? Be careful. Dangerous is an understatement with this item. I'll take my leave. Yes, you will. Permanently. Puar, get rid of him. Oh, this was all going so swimmingly. Selling a dangerous item to me makes you my accomplice. And I've got too many of those. To keep our little secrets safe, I'm afraid I need to take special measures. When it comes to minor details, March can be very logical. As for the rest of the story... Speaking of which, when did I turn into an Arumaton? <sighs> That's Puar's little secret! He transforms into an Arumaton in dire situations. I... Okay. Huh. And there I was, thinking you gangsters still had some decorum. <laughs> Nothing received divinity. The dead return! Nothing major. Bloom. Buyer is waiting there. Time to head over. Stop right there. State your business. Isn't that? Hey, I'm. Can you excuse? Never. I have a delivery. I want. I said I need to see your boss. If you're not willing to cooperate, then perhaps some physical persuasion might be in order. Lacha's personality changes by the minutes. Threats will get you nowhere. I have principles, and I don't give in to bullies. Uh, hey, this is Puar, not Mr. Yang. Enough talk. Have at you. Hang fire, March. I don't think Lacha was here to beat people up. He wanted to make a deal, right? Ah, uh, true. 
Looks like using force isn't the right way. <laughs> You're just here for the show! That's... the gold. Take your- Poir takes- Boss, this is the one. He brought the delivery. I'll be the judge of that. I couldn't think of- This is our boss, Startaro- So what? Not before I- Save it. Show- Easy now. I'm not sure Pom Pom is the best casting choice for a- uh, it... Who are? Give him the money. Happy now? Ready to hand it over? Be careful. Yes, you will. Oh, this was selling a dangerous item. When it comes to minor details, speaking of which, when did uh, that's Puar? I, huh? And there I was. <laughs> Receive divinity. Not a major. Stop right there. State your business. Uh, Isn't cool. That, hey, I'm. Can you tell? Uh, excuse. Never mind. I have a delivery. I what? That's take your. Bar takes. Boss, this is the one. He brought the the. I'll be the judge of that. I couldn't think of anyone else to be Mr. Yang's boss. Nothing major. Receive divinity. The dead return! Repay! Nothing major. It cannot come to pass. Even if Lord Shaw was able to unlock the door, what was his goal? His villain friends must have been waiting on the other side to buy the Stellaron! He went to meet them! Now that I think about it, something's not right. 
Why would they rendezvous at a military airfield? Hold on. This and... Ahem. We're trying to... <laughs> Why is the... Uh, you know... Here, it's thunder! <laughs> time for a fun. <laughs> Nap time. <laughs> Nothing major. <laughs> Conflict is pitiless. <laughs> time for a fun. <laughs> Monster layer. Uh, is it really? Uh, it's more anyway. It's hmm. I, uh, I didn't expect. I wonder. <laughs> the buyer is waiting there. Time to head over. Plausible. Looking at the map, this place is well hidden. Mr. Yang approves Detective March's theory. Let's see where this leads first. Stop right there. Uh, no. Isn't poor. That's hey, I'm. Can you tell him to be? Uh, Excuse. Never mind. I have delivery. I was. That's. Take your. Quarte Show no mercy. <laughs> Time for a fun. <laughs> this is double speed. Is that it? Receive divinity. Just a little something. Think nothing of you. Time for a fun. <laughs> the dead return. Here is thunder. Show no mercy. <laughs> Nap time. Boom. The dead returns! Conflict is pitiless. Time for a buzz. <laughs> this is double speed. Here is thunder! <laughs> Darn it! This isn't over! Fights like these don't go unnoticed in Exalting Sanctum. Cloud Knights could show up at any minute. Better get going. And so Locha has to make a break for it. But where to? Let me have a look at the map. Aha! Gotcha! That was... Hey, stop right there! Halt! Who goes there? Uh-oh. His only escape is... Climb aboard, Locha. Time to get out of here. So Locha hopped on a star skip and fled with the help of his accomplice. And that, ladies and gents, is the truth behind Lucha's disappearance. So, who was piloting the Starskiff? Uh, I'm not sure either.
either. The pilot didn't show themselves, so uh, let's just assume it was her. No one gets left out of my stories. March, as much as I enjoyed your deduction, I do have a few questions. For example, if Law Cha took flight from the dock, how could he appear in Psycrane footage two hours later? Also, the dock is a military installation. The Cloud Knights would be on the scene at the slightest disturbance. How did so many monsters show up without warning? Last but not least, even if Law Cha did encounter all of the troubles you described, it wouldn't have taken him two hours to escape. Oh, you're right, Mr. Yang. I guess I can't compete with the angler just yet. You know what? Time for some field work. Maybe the answers to our questions are waiting for us at the scene. That might be the best approach. Let's go. the Realm Keeping Commission if you need help. Excuse me, officer. We're looking for someone. Can you help us? He's got blonde hair, and judging by the way he's dressed, I'd say he was an outworlder. An outworlder with blonde hair? Could it be? May I ask why you're looking for him? He saved our life! Since when did we start sharing a life? Back in. We're not rehearsing. I excuse me, gentlemen. Would this blonde-haired, life-saving outworlder bear any resemblance to our suspect here? Oh, that's him! Mr. Locha, he rescued both of us. Can I ask when this rescue occurred? It was the day before the Ambrosial Arbor came back to life. We were planning to thank him properly, but in the aftermath of the Arbor incident, we never had the time. Are you two... Now the people in dark clothing? What's with the wardrobe change? Dark clothing? Ah, oh, I know what you're talking about. What a pair of clowns we are. Dark clothing. <laughs> we... fell into a ditch. Wait, what? There we were. Looking for a spot to practice our new routine. We found a place, eventually. A little dilapidated, but nice and quiet. <sighs> Shame about the giant ditch. <sighs> I lost my footing and slipped right in. My associate here, Forth, yelled after me, Don't panic! Forth's got your back! Two seconds later, he landed on my back. Unfortunately, the ditch was connected to a sewer outlet. We were covered head to toe in... Anyway... I assume that's why you thought we had dark clothing on. A dignified story, I'm sure you'll agree. Ugh, no wonder Yin Shu said she had to cover her nose. Anyway, thankfully Mr. Lorcha was passing by and dragged us back to dry land. It took all his strength, I'll wager. And thanks, thanks, kind, kind stranger. stranger! Without your bravery, we'd never have gotten out of that ditch alive! <laughs> no, sir, that if you ever need anything, and it's within our power to help, you can count on us! Even it's beyond our power to help! That's too kind of you. It was nothing, really. Nonsense! You went out of your way to... 
don't worry about it. You should head back home now. Take care. No! Oh, we can't thank you enough! Oh, one moment, both of you. That sewage could well contain harmful compounds. I'm something of a doctor. Let me give you a prescription. Make sure to use the medicine and get some good rest. There you go. I don't know what to say. Uh, sorry to trouble you. <laughs> uh, we'll take our leave now. Be careful on the back. Wouldn't want to find ourselves in another ditch now, would we? Here. That's the prescription he gave us. A paper flower? That's beautiful. Did Luocha make this? That's right. He wrote down the prescription and folded it into shape. <laughs> A man of romantic sensibilities, one might say. Mm. The paper looks familiar. Can I open it? <laughs> of course. We'd already opened it when we showed it to the pharmacy. Ah. We were planning on handing it over to the Realm Keeping Commission. We suspect it's probably our best chance of tracing him. We can take it off you. We'll let you know when we find him. Let me see... Uh, of course! What is it? It's the title page of the Angler Mystery! The prescription's on this side, but on the back there's... Huh? So that's what this is all about? Take a look yourself. The Immortal Spoiler? Ugh, some people just want to watch the world burn. I'm starting to think the Locha we envision doesn't square with a real one. Would a villain do a good deed like this? Oh, so he paid for the book and tore off the title page to protect people from the spoiler. He must be a fan of this book, too. I knew Angler Mystery fans couldn't be bad. Understanding. Indeed. And I've learned not to judge a book by its cover. Anyway, that's enough reflection for one day. Let's get going. Uh, get going to where, Mr. Yang? Garden of Gourmet. You two deserve a treat. <laughs> <laughs> 